Yeah, hi. Uh, we came to an uh, end of this application. So mostly we are going to create a room database right now and need to create a domain layer source use code. Sorry, domain layer user source and implementation and it needs to connect to repository and once the repository connected we need to connect that to user use case then we need to create all the singleton classes and we can call using uh, in the view model and we can use it actually okay so let's start at uh, creating the local database uh, room database over here so we'll just create one package local so inside oh, not this one local inside local we need to create database database dao then entities entities then one repository okay Okay, so those things one in database we are going to create our database task database okay so task database so before uh, going to I'll just review whatever the dependency we are going to use this so these are the room dependency we are going to use it here actually these things okay lib and write x room runtime and address compiler and cap term tag okay so this for these are the room dependency we are going to use in this application and just uh, right now we are going to will create other uh, room we will start creating the room database so room we need a room uh, main database class for room database which is extended by room database room database and it should be annotated it should be a abstract and it should be annotated with database database and inside database entities so entities is array of classes which you are going DAO classes okay whatever not in the entity classes not DAO in entity classes whatever we are creating in entity we need to add it over here in entities and versions so if we are doing any update operation or any column change co column change row change whatever any changes in our entities we need to change the version okay then export schema we can be false okay so we don't want to export the schema and inside here we need to add DAO we'll just go to go and create the DAO and come okay where is it okay DAO is it's an interface so we are going to create task DAO okay task DAO is an interface interface task DAO so whatever uh, if if it is a DAO we need to annotate with DAO okay okay here well, here we are going to create all the functions and projects like on create whatever so we are adding completing all those things we are going to query here so once we added here we need to add an abstract class here abstract function sorry what is it? abstract function task dao task DAO. this one okay so uh, this is this is done so we need to create a database actually so for creating a database we are going to use data injection uh, to create a database okay so uh, in the data injection we are going to create one uh, module inside the module we are going to create the database uh, that uh, that should that was going to do in a presentation layer we have a date di in here we will just create one class like home module okay in the home module uh, we are going to create 
create all the singleton classes this should be annotated with module dagger module and it's is a install in install in singleton component dot class okay so there is no extension or implementation but inside here we are going to provide everything for this stuff, okay fun app database so for app database we need to pass uh, we need to create database with an con context okay so in guild we can create our we can take application context type of application annotation and this should return the task database okay inside database we are going to build the room database so how to build this return room dot database builder context then our task class which means they have a database class database class then our database name database okay so dot build so we just build the database okay so this is build and we need to uh, from this uh, one we need to build the we are going to build the task dao also so both things need to be annotated with uh, provides and singleton Singleton. okay so here uh, next one also is like that only so we are going to create provide task DAO okay here we need to pass the database return is task DAO so return task database dot task dao so this will return task dao now okay so these two things for right now next we are going to create a repository right for repositories everything we need to we are going to add on the, all the use cases also we are going to add it in this this list okay so once uh, now we are we will go and create an entity uh, for this class okay entity is first uh, this is a data class data entity is a data again task task entity okay so entity should be annotated with entity table name if we want we can give otherwise it will take uh, the class name okay task table so it should be at primary key bracket auto generate to where task id long okay then val task name string task details task task end date task completed task completed is int only int is equal to zero zero means it is not completed one means it is completed okay so another one annotation we can give that annotation if we want otherwise we can leave it also what does that mean not column info name task name okay task detail task end name task completed okay so these are that this is a task entity and 
we are going to add file entity so because there is no file that we, we need to create another one file database and we are going to make a relationship between both task entity and uh, this one this one okay file entity this is file entity this is also a data class but entity table name file entity okay so this one is um add primary key auto generate to val task not task id file id long okay then val task id long okay and val file u r l string okay so here also at column info name should be we can add this task id task id this one this one so in this entity we need to add we don't want to add here mm, yeah we need to add here only so here foreign key foreign keys array of foreign key foreign key array of foreign key so entity entity task entity class huh? Okay, entity class is parent column. Parent column is task ID. Child column also task ID same. Then and delete in key dot cascade okay so this is the relationship we are going to add and we need one more class uh, uh, class also entity class so that is a relationship entity class so we are going to create task with file okay this is also data class okay task with file so this class will have uh, well task entity so this should be embedded embedded okay then relation okay well relation parent column task id comma entity column id okay so parent column task id entity column task id this is the relation so this, this is the relation so we are going to query with using this one so we added the entity right those entities and all we need to add it over here not three only the main entities the relationship one we don't want to add file entity class okay so we added our two things so this is fine so we created the entity and repository repository is after creating this task one only okay after creating the task we are going to add it in a repository so now we don't want that one 
so the thing is first we have four needs right we we have uh, four needs first we will create for both uh, insert add in uh, insert task and insert file uh, then we need to uh, add the action we, we have an action like we have to insert both in the same time right so that action also we need to do for, for that we'll create insert task okay task this is task entity okay long insert so now insert file insert file sir this is insert but list of file file entity list of file entity okay but the return won't be a long return will be a int oh, that is no return sorry it won't be a, because we are in setting in a bulk right there is no return this will be a this return will be id id of the insert task so we can do like this if you are confused we can So we can use this one here then uh, we can we can understand what is the return of this one so task id will be the return id okay insert and this insert so now we are going to insert both thing at the same time so we are we need one function insert task with file task with file task entities comma file entities list okay so in this one it should be transaction okay so that if anything one or any one is failure also another one will be successed otherwise both will be cancelled that's why we are using the transist so where task id is equal to insert task task okay so we are giving the task then we are going to change files dot for each it dot task id task id is equal to this task id okay so now we are going to what is that is that okay uh, we are going to insert file in a multiple way that's okay then return return task id okay we'll return task id because we need return site okay so return is a task id then only we can confirm so all insets are done right so now we need one update update complete task is the update task task entity int so this should be a update okay update in the sense uh, we are going to only change the task complete 0 to 1 that is update okay so we created the update then uh, we are going to get the going to query all the functions for get function get complete task get complete task so this return will be flow not that one flow flow will be utility concurrency not that flow this one coroutine flow okay list of task entities task with file entities not task entity task with file and list of task with file entity so this one we are going to query the query should be select star from task table completed task means where task completed is equal to one that is completed task get task means the same thing but this one is equal to zero zero is uncompleted task okay get task 
okay so now that this DAO is done so from this DAO we are going to create the repository the task repository here task repository we are going to create the task repository here so this should have the parameter of private plan task DAO task DAO ok so here also the same for action insert uh, what is that insert uh, update then the two get that one get this one okay so uh, here we are what we are going to do here is the complication what we are going to do the task which we this task class should we need to change this task class to this task class in this class okay so we are going to do that one over here only so the fun fun insert task tasks okay from this task return long okay this is the return long okay so uh, this in the in here we have this task so we are going to split it into two one is task entity and list of file entities and we are going to pass this one to that DAO's insert function insert with file function this function okay so for that we are going to take first val uh, Entity, no, 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 file entity. We can split it easily out. File entity is equal to task dot files. Okay, dot to list. To list. Okay, then we are going to what is that? file entity dot for each you can pass directly uh, now this task yes so we'll create a task entity is equal to uh, task entity is equal to what is that mm. no not this one task entity task entity Task entity task ID is equal to uh, okay. Here is the risk task dot task ID. Task name task name. Task details. Task details, okay. Task end date task end date task completed is equal to not completed, right? So zero. So this is task entity. So in this file entity, file file entity is a list but it is a string. So we have to embed this file entity into a file one. Okay uh file entity dot for each so here well not file entity so this one will remove this one as mutable list of mutable list of file entity okay so here we will take task so not this one task dot task files okay so this one it so instead of it right here okay so in this item file entity dot add 
file entity So now it is good. So now we have two things. One is file entity and one is task entity. Now we are going to insert that onto task demo dot insert with file task entity comma file entity. Good. Yeah. So now it is good. So now we will we ins we have the insert task right. So once the insert task is done, uh, then we have to we have to add the complete task. Okay. Not this one. Small complete. Complete task. also the same task okay complete task also the same task task will come inside and we need to convert the task to like this task entity okay then we need to return it with this um, complete task will be not a long return should be an int return okay that is not filed and this one complete task okay so this zero while complete task zero to one because we are completing the task right it's complete means one okay so this one okay then others are simple only very simple one get uh, get only two things right completed task one get Then uh, task BAO dot get completed task. So this return should be um, uh, instead of writing, we can do this. Right? Yeah, this is okay. Okay. So this also, this is completed task this should be tasks okay so our uh, ta task repository is done so this for this task repository also we need to create a module okay mm. so for this task repository we need to create a module in a module class okay the same thing we'll just not, i'll just copy this one and paste Mm -hmm. and provide task repository here uh, we need to pass that DAO because that one is DAO right task repository then return Task repository task behavior. Okay, so this is passing task repository. Uh, then uh, I think now we are good with our database uh, room database side. So next one we are uh, our local database structure is done. Next one we need to only one thing we need to add the data source only. So data source we need to add over here. We'll create one. Um, data source for uh, package and we will add only uh, implementation data source interface implementation repository implementation okay so those things and then we can process everything in a view model okay those things are we'll see in the next video yeah thank you